Hey guys, welcome to a whole brand new Pop Smoke braid tutorial for you guys. So here's my client. He's of course sitting in my chair. He wants to do these Pop Smoke braids and I'm like, yeah, sure, that's completely fine. He has so much hair. I literally adore him. If you guys don't know him from my Instagram, of course, he's my older cousin. He's literally been supporting me and coming to me ever since I started my braiding uh, journey and everything, my braiding business and whatnot. But here he is again talking about he wants his braids. Lord of Jesus Christ. He has so much hair. Oh my God. God, I can't even anymore but we are here going into these triangle parts we're gonna create them we're just gonna do a little zigzag zigzag parting so we're gonna go from left to right and right to left and whatnot and we're going to make sure that all of the parts are straightly even and that everything is completely fine and you know it's parted correctly we're gonna go again over with our gel the gel if you guys are wondering what i use i use shining jam if you guys didn't see from my other video that i posted maybe like three to two days ago i use shining jam all the time or sometimes i'll just use lock-in but i'll show you guys that for our next video probably when i go to this hair store and whatnot because those two are the only gels that i mainly use when it comes down to doing stitch phase because they really work very well and they give a beautiful shine in the end but we're, after we're finished with this whole entire parting, we're going to go in and add gel throughout the perimeter and all over the hair. So that when we are ready to sleek everything, it will be completely handled and controlled. Make sure that when you're also going out your way, you have a comb that can easily brush and doesn't have like a little tiny space at the top as you usually would when you would part the hair with a specific comb but you're just gonna have a comb that's where all of where well, there's no spaces in the comb at all and it's just you know just a straight up tail comb regardless you're then gonna come through and just start combing everything out and also don't forget to also space everything and make sure that all the gel is consumed all over the hair and when i mean all over the hair i mean that it's inside the hair you're parting into different pieces of the of the part that you did of course and you're gonna start combing everything out and don't forget to also when you're also combing you are using your finger your finger is literally the best control when it comes down to the situations because molding is another correct thing that you need to also perfect but anyway you're gonna go into taking a little part at the top and splitting the rest of the braid in half that is going to be amazing for when you are trying to control your stitch braids i usually see a lot of people just start the stitch braids and just go on with it i've tried that and personally it does not work for me so i of course go on with doing a little piece at the top and then going half you know with the hair on one side and the hair on the other side and then i'm going to go in with my acrylic nail that i only put on my pinky oh my god when i see you guys having acrylic nail on your pinky is literally the best thing in the world it had you will have so much control in your stitch braids it's like the best thing honestly and then another thing that i see a lot of people when they do have their click nail and it kind of like bothers them in a way it is going to bother you in the in the like you know short half and whatever but the more that you use it and the more that you have control over your fingers you'll be completely fine but we always have to remember that when we're using the acrylic nail we're only using the pointiest part and we're not using the edge of the nail so of course when you do that you want to make sure that you're you are also going over everything and taking your time you know when it comes to stitch braids you really don't want to go so fast you want to just really take your time because doing stitch braids is no joke and if you have OCD like I do, <laughs> you know that all of the stitch braids and whatnot and the parting and whatever has to be completely perfect. So now you guys see how I am doing it. I'm going to braid, of course. And if you guys didn't really see like the things that I was doing, right when I have the stitch, I'm like making sure that my finger is sliding off of the braid that I'm about to curve under and over just so that the stitch the stitch can be a little bit straight because right when you stitch the hair and you're gonna put it into the middle of your finger it's not gonna be completely fine but we are now at the back of the doing the pop smoke stitch braids and we are going to again use the technique of splitting it in half and putting gel right in between just so that everything is saturated and everything will be completely fine when you're ready to stitch the hair so now we're going to braid at the top first with our little piece that we check section 
that we sectioned off and we're going to braid like three to four times and then we're going to go on with the stitch braid again and again you, you want to have straight control with your pinky or with your finger or whatever that you guys feel comfortable using and then we're going to again just go right from left or you can go left to right again it doesn't really matter it honestly comes down to how you feel comfortable and what you feel comfortable doing when it comes down to stitch braids as well. Like, if you don't want to put the acrylic nail on your pinky, you can immediately put the acrylic nail on your ring finger. If you don't want to put the acrylic nail on your, ring on your ring finger, you could put the acrylic nail probably on, like, your the main finger that you basically use, if that makes sense. But yeah, so you're going to come through. Again, we're going to take our time. And again, this is probably the most, like, easiest hair I've ever worked with I think he has like 4b kind of 4c hair at the same time his hair is kind of like thick but it's also like thin at the same time like it's super slippery as well and that's I think that that's another thing that braiders have that kind of like they have a struggle with as well is that when the hair comes down to being slippery and you obviously have gel on it you also want to make sure that you have full-on control and grip when it comes down to braiding never lose that grip and always have that 100% grip on you at all times when it comes out of stitch braids because even though my fingers sometimes do get very tired and tend to like start to hurt me and everything I still try to come through and make sure that I have 100% strong strong grip like what I mean grip I mean like you gotta have grip like dog like you really have to come through with strong control when it comes down to your fingers do not try to oh i'm tired when you get to the back and be like oh i'm not gonna stitch anymore because that's just being lazy and we don't want to be lazy we want to make sure that the stitches are actually perfect and everything is straight up in control and we have control over the hair and the braids another thing that I see a lot of people doing that they kind of have a mistake too when it comes down to stitch braids is that they don't comb the hair out right when they're braiding the reason for that is when you're combing at the same at the same time that you're braiding is because th there could be like certain little knots right when you're braiding and it will be a little bit bulky if you don't want to comb it out and also add gel as well right before you start to comb out because it will also be easier for your hands and you'll have straight up control and all the knots will be completely fine we are now at the bottom of the hair and again you're going to apply your gel and also comb it out because again you know thick hair can be super knotty and very easy to kind of you know tangle up in a way so we have to make sure that we're combing everything out and make sure everything is completely fine as well so now you're going to keep combing you're just going to go out your way add gel and just braid it all the way down to the hair unless you feel like there's no hair to be braided anymore so now we're going to come through and add you know the lot of body if you guys have not watched my other two videos that i posted you guys know lot of body is amazing and it gives an immediately beautiful shine and it's honestly the best when it comes down to removing flyaways i have tried every other you know mousse product and it doesn't really give off the same shine and remove the flyaways and everything else that i really want so i personally feel like a lot of body and this other one that i use i think it's hairby or whatever it's honestly amazing too but you know it is what it is we're now going to come through and blow dry the hair because we do not want our client to be leaving with whatever white residue on their hair and I, when i come when it comes down to also blow drying you want to make sure that the level of the blow dryer is to level 10 of course just so everything can dissolve into the hair properly and it will give that beautiful shine at the end of the day i honestly come down to blow drying his hair right after everything is done probably like for like a good like five six seven minutes only because the hair does tend to kind of want to dissolve and take so long at this point but it is what it is and it's completely fine but yeah is his hair is also kind of um very like loose and kind of like sinks into moisture too so it's actually perfect when it comes down to his hair being super shiny in the end and do you guys see those parts oh my god triangle come on now and by the way this is not our first time but here is the end result for you guys real quick this looks completely beautiful i love it so much and we did five braids on the left and the right side and it looks freaking amazing oh my gosh i love it so much but make sure to go like comment and subscribe